Hi, and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk, and I've been selling on Amazon doing retail arbitrage for six years. This summer will be my seventh year anniversary of selling on Amazon, so it's kind of crazy, and I have no plans to stop anytime soon. In fact, I have more plans to actually grow my business, and one of the ways I plan to grow it is by creating bundles. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a bundle. Before I get into all that, I want to ask you to do me a huge favor. So I obviously make videos on YouTube, but I'm not here for the YouTube money. Let me tell you, it's not that great. I think it's like a thousand dollars a month. I mean, I'm not shying away from it, but it's not why I'm making videos. So I just like videos to make videos to help you guys uh, learn how to sell on Amazon, do different things. And that's really it. Like it literally is helping you. So I enjoy making them. So if you could return the favor and do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. So I really wanna hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and if I'm reading the data right, there's actually over 100,000 people watching my videos. So if you are one of the ones who watch them but are not subscribed, could you please, if you're watching this on your TV, grab your phone and just subscribe to the channel. If you're already on your phone or your laptop, hit that subscribe button and help me get that goal. Let's just pretty really fun goal to hit there's no other reason for it that I just think would be really cool and I was excited when I hit 1000 I was super excited when I hit 10 hitting 50 was absolutely crazy so I just think it'd be real fun to see if I could get to 100,000 so yeah okay so if you've seen any of my past videos this year where I talk about my best items from 2022 you are gonna note that the number one item was a bundle that I created during Q4 now, this is June 1st that I'm recording this, and actually it was my number one item in May also. So here is my seller board screenshot of it. I am by no way a bundle expert. I've actually held off on creating this video because I don't think that I know enough, but I definitely know enough to help you get started the same way I did. So this is a very basic level, and and it's not even high level, I guess, but it's very basic on how I created my bundles and how you can create them as well. Obviously, you wanna test everything with Amazon, right? You do test buys, you're gonna test a lot of bundles and I'm gonna give you the tips and tricks of what I've learned from how mine failed because I have created six to eight, I can't remember at this point, bundles, literally three are selling and they're not selling this, toy bundle that I created. That one is selling the best. I have another toy bundle and then I have like a kitchen bundle so far. But in the month of June, I am going to create a bunch more bundles. So I'm really excited because that is my goal of how I want to grow. Obviously, everyone out there can find stuff to sell on Amazon, right? Doing retail arbitrage. But how you can really grow and kind of expand your business is by creating your own bundles. So this is how you do it. I will make sure to timestamp this video so if you're watching it later to come back to like physically make your own bundles, you can just jump ahead. But I'm gonna go over the like things that I've learned first before we jump into actually creating the bundle. So thing number one is you want the item, the bundle that you're making to be replenishable. If you're finding it on closeout and there's like four of them, 10 of them, I'm not totally sure that it's worth your effort to create a bundle. You wanna find things that you can easily get more of because my first bundle, I bought three of the toys that I made the bundle with, so it's two different toys, and I knew I could get them again at Target and Walmart. So it was very easy for me to replen, but I still only started out by buying three. They were expensive off the shelf. They That's why they made so much money because I was able to price them really high during Q4 and now they are still priced high and selling right now. So I can still order more at Target. So that's thing number one. You want the items to be replenishable. Tip number two is you wanna have things that other sellers can't easily find. Now my toy bundle, technically anyone can find it and sell it. It's not hard to find the items, but I do have other bundles that I've created that are harder to find. I ordered the items from a distributor. Now, if you don't have a distributor, literally just Google. The thing that makes bundles great is that the distributors you can't buy something and sell it one-to-one -one, usually. Amazon's price is the same or it doesn't make enough profit. But when you bundle them together, I'm sure you've seen bundles when you're scanning, they sell for more. I don't know why, but they do and people buy them. So you wanna make sure that it's something that is kind of hard for other sellers to find to create. Now again, 
Mine is easy to find off the shelf and it's doing great. So start where you're at. Start with whatever you want to make a bundle out of that's replenishable. But if you can add an item that makes it harder for other sellers to find and list on, that is only going to benefit you. I assume you all know why you don't want other sellers on it. It's the price tanking, right? Even though you've made this bundle that is selling for a lot of money and you're making amazing profit, other sellers will come and tank it. I don't know why. It's my mission to educate everyone, but that's why if you're wondering why you don't want other sellers on it, that's why. All right, tip number three is to write all the things down in a Word doc or Google Sheet or wherever, or Apple Note, wherever you wanna write notes. Um, digitally would be better unless you wanna type it all back out again because Sometimes things happen and you might give yourself a potential IP or an IP. It is not the end of the world. I have done it. Uh, my bundles, many of them, not many, half of them got taken down because of potential IPs. Some sold before that IP, trademark, whatever it was, hit my account. But when that hits your account, it's going to get pulled down on Amazon or you're going to have to take it down because otherwise you can't get it off your account. I literally just deleted the listings and the IPs or whatever went off of my account. So that is one thing that you want to be sure of so that you don't lose all your work. If you have it in a Google Doc, then you can just take out whatever it was or rewrite whatever flagged Amazon and try to make it again. Just makes your life easier. So everything from the title that you created, the bullet points that you're going to add, and the product description, make sure you have them, again, outside unless you want to redo it all should it come down. Now we'll get into this as I'm making the bundle, but you also want to have all the bullet points. You know when you see some Amazon product page don't have bullet points, some have really robust long bullet points, that's what you want. And you want to pack them with as much keywords as possible, but they should still sound like natural sentences. So that is like the product description, again, we don't have to overthink it. We can pull product descriptions from other items on other website like Target or Walmart or wherever that item is sold. You can pull it from other Amazon listings, but you do want to change it enough so that it's not flagged as being um, the same item because Amazon will actually combine product pages if they think it's the same item. It doesn't happen all that much, but it does happen occasionally to clean up their catalog. They'll combine two like products into one or they're the same product really, into one page. Now the photos. So the photos, you do not need any special like light box and all that down the road if you wanna get it, but you don't have to do it to start. I'm gonna show you just how I take mine and I'm gonna use Canva to edit them. Canva is free. I have the paid version um, because I use it so much. I'm pretty sure that you can take out the backgrounds with Canva for free. If not, if you have an iPhone or I'm pretty sure Android's phones did it first, you can actually remove backgrounds from items just by holding it. So I'll show you all of that as well. The thing with photos is you don't want to use, you have to alter and doctor the photo because Amazon, uh, the website scrubs other websites. And if it, it can get pulled down if you are copying and get IPs and all that, if you're copying literally exact photos. So you want to take your own photos or alter them as I'll show you in Canva if you pull them. Now I took my own photos. I did take my own photos actually now that I think about it, but for most of my bundles that are currently selling, what well, one is photos that I took and two are photos that I made by putting together the objects in Canva. So I'll show you all that. Okay, so now I think that's it. We're gonna jump in and I'll walk you through things as they come up. But the main thing I wanna say is try it out. Don't overthink it. Like it's not really that hard and there's no reason I can't create more bundles except for that I just don't have the time and I never sit down and do it. So you can do this, I promise. The bundle I'm gonna create is I have three of these real little like, I don't think they're called caboodles but that's what they look like and that's what we used to call them. So I have three, I'm gonna create a bundle of three of them. Now again, this is not the greatest bundle because anyone can go find it and sell it. So if I had a little tchotchke that I bought off of a website somewhere else, you know, look for bulk things you can buy and add. I mean, it doesn't really add any value to the customer. I mean, maybe they think it's better, but you're able to hold off other sellers from finding that thing and listing on it. So we're gonna take photos of these three and I'm going to create a bundle with them. So starting in your Amazon account, you're going to go to catalog, add products, and you're going to click this. I'm adding a product that's not sold on Amazon. Apparently I have one that I was working on. That was probably when I did the live showing it. So this is where you're going to add your Amazon category. Now this is the toy. So I'm going to search. We'll start with just girls toy. 
So you can see it's got like arts and crafts. I think I'll do this one because it's a kind of high level. These don't totally matter, but it's kind of high level. So I like that it's got less subcategories. So toy figure set, game, toy figures, play set. I do have one <laughs> bundle. I don't think it's currently listed anymore, but Amazon kept telling me it needed more information after I created it and it wanted to know what pillow size. It wasn't a pillow, so I don't know where that went wrong, but things happen, so you'll just figure it out as you go. Okay, this is the first part in where I got held up when I first was trying to do it. So shout out to my Bolo Group community for helping me. Actually, I actually think it was in the Q4 Bolo Group during one of our live hangouts for helping me figure out how to do it. So this is how you do it. It's really not hard, but again, if you don't know what to look for, you don't know. So if I were to scan this UPC that's on it, it would just come up as whatever it is already in Amazon and it would be like, we think you're trying to list that. Obviously, we don't want to list on that page because that page just doesn't make money and we want to list all three of them together. So instead, what you're going to do is click this box right here that says, I don't have a product ID. Now, because I've already done this, I think... It's gonna, I'm gonna have to kind of like walk you through it. So at this point, there should probably be something that comes up. I think you have to enter all this, but to, in order to continue, you're gonna have to apply to sell in the generic category. So by saying your product doesn't have an ID, it doesn't have a UPC, even though it does, you are creating a generic listing. I'm sure you've seen them when you're scanning these listings that have generic as the brand instead of the brand. So those are how you wanna do it. Now, again, as you get better, maybe you want to register a brand of your own on Amazon. That's a whole nother step in the process, which I am taking. But for the moment, this is how I'm creating my bundles and this is how you can too. Once you get good and used to it, go, go ahead, register your brand, do all that stuff. So the product name of this, now using the word real littles is, um, it could get flagged. So brands that I know have been flagged and that I don't, wouldn't recommend using the name is Starbucks. I got that taken down. I did Sonic the Hedgehog. That got taken down. It, some did sell, but it eventually got taken down. And then I redid it as just Sonic without the Hedgehog. And that one stayed up for a little bit, but then it got taken down again. So we're going to put it in as real littles. Um, may or may not get taken down. If it does, I'll add here if it got taken down or not after this video is done. So your product title, you want it to be simple but have good keywords so you might see i mean literally just look on amazon search through and see but you'll see like great for parties or like all those kind of things like great gift sets that people might search and those are the titles so play around with your titles try different ones now each of these like this is a light box this is a unicorn terrarium and this is a fizz ball so i might actually add those on there again it's making it it's kind of making it harder for me to replan because i would need to find all these exact three and i think there's like a couple different ones out there but for this example i'm just going to add it again that's something you'd have to consider how easy is it re to replan i'm not actually going to sell this if the listing exists out there well then you'll know but i am not actually going to sell these i actually need to take them back to walmart now, sometimes it's hard to change things on Amazon once, like, I'm sure if you've ever been a product page where someone changed the photo and it's like pulling teeth from Amazon to get the photo back to what it was, or if you try to change, um, like, the description, it might not always take and you have to open the case. One thing that I did notice about a bundle is I had to change something on it and I was able to do it. And I think it's because I'm the one who created it. And so I was able to change photos, everything, no interference from Amazon was required. So I've got the name Real Littles Michael Craft, and then I do dash set of three, dash includes DIY Unicorn Terrarium, DIY Fizz Bomb, not Fix Bomb, Fizz, and DIY Light Box. So I'm going to leave it like that and see how it goes. I don't know that it needs to be all that much better. Now, who makes these? Moose Toys. So that's the brand... But I'm going to say this product doesn't have a brand and you'll see now it says generic. So at one of these points, when you click one of these boxes, 
instead of continue like it throws for me it's gonna say that you need to um, like apply so you'll click through to apply you'll pick toys you can even pick like kitchen you can do as many categories as you want I think I have toys and kitchen and maybe home one other one you just apply it's kind of like when you apply to get ungated you'll be automatically approved and you can continue on with your listing so at this point make sure you copy all this stuff so that you don't have to write it again so let me open a Google sheet now you're gonna see all the items that you need to add. So I'm gonna to have to add the offer, which is my price that I'm gonna do. Keywords, description, images isn't there, but we need to do the images. And then vital info. Everything that has to be in is put in red, um, which seems like a lot. So here we go. Now the manufacturer, this is where I would do moose toys because that's who makes this, so moose. Sometimes the brands and like that gets flagged, so that's why I didn't want to put a brand, but I don't mind putting the manufacturer because, well, you have to. Part number, I just make it up if there's a number on here. So it's got 25409, oh, sure. Number of items, you'll get three. Country of origins, probably China. Now it's going to want that item dimensions, and I forgot my tape measure, so let me go grab it because... This is how, of course, they're going to do the fees. So you want to note that. Also, so far I've only done toys, and so they end up being hazmat. So I can't actually send them in, and I'm FBMing all my bundles. So there's that. One thing I forgot to mention, which I'll pull up right now, you don't technically need a tape measure because you should pull up another website that these items are on. It can even be Amazon. And you'll see all these measurements and stuff, origin, all that kind of stuff will be right on the website. So I typically go to Target because they have everything neatly laid out there. So let's head over. Now that I think about this, I got them at Walmart. They may not have them. Okay, so you can see like, these are third party sellers obviously, but at Walmart, you can get it right here for $9.97, which is what I paid for it. I mean, technically, I didn't even have to create a bundle. I could have just created an individual listing for each of these because I don't think they exist on Amazon. Anyways, let's click in and see what this website's going to give us. Okay, so you can see here the dimension is here. We've got the choking hazards, and you can see all of this product info. We're going to save this because we're going to use it. So let's head back to Amazon and... Obviously, I'm creating a thing of three, so I have to multiply this. I'm just going to stack them up and measure them. So they're eight and a half inches is already selected. Thank you, Amazon. Is assembly required? No. Item type. So this is like you go a girl's toy or toy set. I don't know. I don't know that this matters. It might, but I haven't. I've thought that much through. So we're going to call it DIY microcrafts set of three plastic. Now, if you don't ever know this stuff, you can try and Google it um, or pick from what they have. I've, I've not had any issues doing it so far, but you might need to Google if you run into some things. Minimum manufacturing age. So this is where it says, so So number of boxes, I'm, it's going to be in a poly bag, but we're going to say one. Now you can save your draft at any time. So that's the vital info. Now we have, let's do the offer. So I make my SKUs the same as all of them, no matter what. So I got these at Walmart. I don't know what the break even is because I don't know what all the fees are going to be. So I don't add that, but I do add how much I paid so that it's easier when I have to go reprice or figure it out once the fees are there. What's listed at 59? Let's go crazy. Okay, now you might already know this from listing just your regular items, but over here you can see everything and then you can see required. So you want to only audience is required, but we do want to have search terms. These are the keywords that are going to help uh, your listing come up on Amazon without advertising. Now, I've played around with advertising for my bundles. I think that's why they're selling more now because there was a little like from January to March, they didn't really sell and I had them all in my shed. But now that um, I've sent 
since in April started some advertising on them, they've started to move again. I advertise, I don't know what I'm doing with advertise, you guys, I'm just testing things out. I advertise for just $5 a day, that's my max, because I don't want to lose a bunch of money trying to sell these things. So it's been working. I sold three so far this week. As I said, my May was my best item of May, most profitable item. So it is still working and and seller board's awesome because it pulls in the advertising costs. So there's that too. Target audience, unisex children. You can add more. So I'll, you could say girls, boys. Search term, real littles, mini caboodle. I don't know how you spell that. So I'm just adding in some things now. You can always come back and add more. So I can't think of things at the top of my head. So this is what I got. So we're going to save that. Okay, the description, I'm going to go ahead and head back to Walmart. Now there's a, it's called uh, A plus content and it's like, formatted that's what amazon calls it it's formatted all nice so it'll look like this on a product page i'm sure you've seen some product page has more details than other i'm not getting into all that a plus fancy formatting yet like i still haven't learned how to do it i know it's like html stuff but for my bundles currently that are selling and making money i've just done it this way obviously like i said this is like a base level and there's only growth from here so this is just get it going see if it works kind of thing so we're going to copy this And I'm going to make some alterations to it. So the cutest range of DIY micro craft projects now been added to the real littles range. So here where it says there's three different six, where there's six different crafts to collect. Uh, this is where I'm going to say this set includes. Oh, cat. Okay. And so now this is where we come into the bullet points and you want to have all five, um, or maybe you can have even more than that. But you want to have, I would say, at least five. And you want to have them um, almost just as descriptive as the key features. Again, if you're watching this, you're like, Nikki, you're like, you got to do this, this, and this. This is like a base level to get your bundle out there and see how it goes. I'm, again, I'm just using what is already out there. So I might actually add Amazon to my search. So I'm going to take out, actually, I'm going to, I mean, I have real littles in the title, but I'm going to take it out of the bullet points just in case. I don't want to make it too flagged. So I'm going to say this set includes just pulling different things from the description. Now, whether this is the best idea, I have no idea, but I am just doing it again get your bundle up there and then make it better as it goes if it doesn't get pulled down by amazon then robust it out google learn more things about how you can make bundles better but getting them up there and listed and selling is thing number one and then we go to thing number two right so this is choking small not a ball, small parts. Save. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the photos. Now this is a whole nother step. So since even on Amazon, you can see, that's Walmart, but you can see all the different photos are kind of out there. None of them are what I have. So these two photos I could use, but you can screen grab, take a photo of photos online. You just have to make them a new photo in Canva. So to show you how to get, remove the background, I'm going to go ahead and take my own photos. But if all the photos, like I'm going to screen grab this one with the bath bomb, because that's part of what's included. It doesn't, unfortunately, I don't have the ones that have the other parts of it, but use whatever photos you can find online. I'm going to look on Walmart too, to see if I can find any more. So you're going to see, I'm not doing anything special. I'm literally just taking a photo. It's busy in the background. 
it's not like a white background. Ideally, if you have a white wall or a table with a white wall that you can put up against or counter or something like that, that's ideal. But uh, since I'm sitting outside, I'm just going to do it right here because I'll show you how it works. Again, you don't need a light box or anything like that. You can do most of it. You do want to make sure there's no glares on it. Since I'm sitting in the shade, it should be fine that way. If you can go on like Moose Toys, like their brand, their manufacturer website and find the photos, that's another good option because I'm going to need some secondary photos. All I'm really doing with this is creating that first photo. So I got the photos. I'm going to airdrop them to my laptop and open up Canva. I just do a Instagram post because it's got to be a square photo. So I just open that one. So. Just to make it easier for Canva, I am going to crop them down. There's other, I think there's even free, like, this is how I do it. There's other things out there from, like, eBay and stuff where you can um, remove backgrounds or adds to white backgrounds. There's a lot of different things out here. I already have Canva. I pay for it because I use it in my business. So I this is how I do it. Again, oh, let me screen grab. So there's a way in your iPhone and I'm pretty sure Android had it first like I said you just literally like hold down and now you've got the photo on a back now I don't know how you this part I did not know how to do I don't know how you add it but you can copy let's see if I can share it just that to my laptop let's see how that goes but I so I've added a new note like I've done different things to get it I've never actually done this so we'll see how it goes so now you can see I don't even need Canva. My iPhone did it just fine. So this is, again, a photo I just took outside and look how good it is. So I am going to make a, one of these for each one. Now I want you to see how it works on Canva. So on Canva, if you don't use the iPhone way, edit photo, background remover. Now you can see on Canva, part of the table is still here. So what I do in that case is I'm going to erase. I've got my brush size here. I just like literally click and erase it. And now it's done. But I do think the iPhone did better. So, because it has a smoother background. So I am going to do them all on the iPhone. But that's how you can use Canva. How I've been doing it now that the iPhone works though. So let me do the rest of them. I mean, are they amazing photos? No, but do I care? No, they're going to work. So I've got every single one on a page now. But I need to make one with all three. So, got that. I could have taken another photo with them stacked and then done the background remover that way. Now I have all three. That could have been my main photo, but I just like to do it this way. Okay, now I'm going to download these. Meanwhile, remember I said I'm going to steal these photos from Amazon, so I'm going to do that. So here we've got the Moose Toys, like I said, their website. So you can see each one has more info. So here's the Unicorn Terrarium. So I'm going to grab that photo. I'm going to grab this photo. Okay, so I think I have enough photos. So let's go back to Amazon. Images. Now the main image is going to be the one that I just downloaded. Okay, so everything is in there and that's literally it. So I did say I have one that I'm listed. But if you were going to do it, so I can go back to my offer and say, I'm going to do it with Amazon, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to say that it's hazmat, but we'll just see. So save and finish. And then it's going to take up to 30 minutes. So we'll check back and see if it's listed. Literally, it's that easy. And you can sit down now. The, the description and writing all that, that's what takes the most time and the most thought. But the photos, not as hard. Like, you don't need any fancy stuff. Obviously, you can get that if you want and your business has the money for it, but you don't need it. I still don't use a light box. Haven't bought one. I probably need to at this point, but still don't use it.
I'm sure you've seen out there on Amazon when you're scanning, like coffee is like one of the big ones, right? Sometimes there's a little sticker or a recipe card or things like that added to the bundle, which frustrate us as sellers because we can't list on this very awesome bundle that has a rank and is selling and everything because of that thing. But that is why if you're creating your own bundles that you want to have that in there. Again, things might happen. It might be a week from now, a month from now where Amazon's going to pull that listing down as an IP or whatever. Just see what happened. See what they told you again starbucks uh sonic was for me so just make changes to that and retry it i literally have tried that sonic listing three times because i have the stuff in my shed i need to sell it i'm gonna try again because i need to get rid of it so there's that Hopefully this video was helpful and helped you get started on making your own bundles. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. Help me reach my subscription like a huge milestone by subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week for another Amazon selling video.